So I'm sat in my Volvo XC90 D5, two litre turbocharged diesel engine with power pulse technology, which reduces turbo lag. And it has 235 horsepower. Next to me is the D4, same two litre engine, but it doesn't have that power pulse tech. And it only has 190 horsepower. So is it worth spending the extra on the D5? We're gonna have a drag race to find out. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, off the line, there's nothing in it. But now the effect, of that more powerful engine is paying off. And he's getting destroyed. That's quite a difference. Easy win, easy win. Right, now we're gonna have a rolling race. So both cars are in dynamic mode. We're gonna cruise along 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna give it a countdown from three and then we're just gonna floor it, see what happens. See the difference. Okay, three, two, one, go! So I've got a power pulse, and it wasn't that much difference really. It's supposed to cut turbo lag, but now I'm going, look at that. Really, once you're up to speed, you do notice the difference there. There's the initial change down, but we're both in dynamic mode, so it's about the same. I thought this would take off a little bit quicker than that, because of the power pulse, it just dumps a load of air into the turbo to get it spawning to minimise lag, but wasn't that much difference. Hmm. Do you need to spend the extra, I wonder? Now I've jumped into this D4 Momentum version of the car, and it's very interesting to compare it to my D5 Inscription Pro. So this is the entry level model, and I don't think it's worth spending the extra on that D5 engine. This is easily quick enough and like for like when you've got the automatic gearbox fitted, the D5 is three and a half grand more than the D4 and I just don't think it's worth it. You are better off saving that money to spend on spec. So this momentum, it's, it's all right inside, but you know, with the rubberized dash and it's missing some of the bling. There's a definite difference between the way this car makes me feel and the Inscription Pro that I've got makes me feel. This just doesn't feel anywhere near as special. So I reckon you save that money on the engine and put it towards getting the Inscription Pro. So you get massage seats, that active air suspension, it comes as standard with it. And those things really raise the game again, really do make this Volvo feel like a proper, proper high-end luxury car that this lesser version just doesn't quite. Now, the suspension is an important one because I really want to see the difference between the normal suspension and the air suspension. Where the air suspension isn't so good is when you go over a very sudden change in surface or a sudden bump. It gives you a bit of a jolt. So like an expansion gap on the motorway or a really sudden sharp pothole, this normal suspension is probably better. But in all of the cases, the air suspension is much nicer. It just has this floaty, wafty feel that you get from very expensive luxury SUVs. Also in the corners with the S suspension, you can press a button and it'll stiffen the suspension. So it just feels a bit sharper than the normal car. And you need to get the Inscription Pro for that system. It comes as standard with it. So yeah, get the Inscription Pro. It will cost you 7,000 pounds more than the Momentum. But remember, you're gonna save some money by not having that D5 engine and just get the Inscription Pro. It's a beautiful, beautiful car in that specification with that lovely soft Nappa leather, the great seats, all the extra bits and pieces, the wood inlays in the dash and the larger wheels. It's just great. Well, there you go. Some handy, handy buying advice for you there. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and click on our logo to subscribe to our channel. Also click on the video windows for more CarWow videos.